Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we will solve round 953C Manhattan permutations. Now a Manhattan value of a permutation is the absolute difference between the between your permutation value and an identity permutation. Okay, you are given integers n and k. You need to find a permutation of length n such that its Manhattan value is equal to k. Or say if no such permutation exists. Okay, now first of all, we will find the permutations which have answer no. Okay, if you take any permutation, let's say n equal to 5, then this is your identity permutation and your maximum possible value of k which you will get, you will always get by reversing this permutation. Okay. So, the difference is, is 4, 2, 0, 2, 4. So, the entire sum of this is 12. Which means that for n is equal to 5, if I have a k value that is greater than my this bound, the answer is directly no. Because this is the maximum possible difference I can get. The reason? Because I am maximizing my two values here and then same thing inside. And hence this is, this is the maximum possible difference I can get as the value of k. So every value of k that is more than this has directly answer of no. That is why the test case having such a big value of k and over here they are no. Now if you have noticed then no matter however I swap my elements, I will always get an even number of k. This is 1, this is 1, this is 2, sum is 4. So try swapping this permutation in any order you want. You will always get the, max, the sum of your these values as even. You will never get an odd value ever. So that is why the answer of this case is no, because you cannot have a all value of k. Okay, so we have found the the values for no. K is odd or k is more than my maximum value. If either of these conditions is true, my answer is directly no. Else my answer is yes, and I need to find a suitable Manhattan permutation. Okay. So this is the basic this is the basic idea. Now if you have a permutation of length 5, you know if you swap the first and last values, then this is the maximum possible difference you can get. 4 and 4 equals to 8. So if your k value is more than this value, means you need to swap the first and last values. If it is not, which means I keep my these values as it is same and I might need to change the inner structure. That is the main logic. Okay. Now let's, I'll give you an example. For k is equal to 10 and n is equal to 5. Since first of all, this sum I get 8 and k is more than my maximum value. Hence, I will swap the first and last value. Okay? If it is not, like if I have k is equal to 6, then this remains 5 and this remains 1. And then I try to find an answer internally. Now, there are some cases which you need to handle separately for even and odd. Now for n even like n is even. Okay. n is even and this is your maximum value done. Okay. Which is 10. Let's keep k is equal to 12. Okay. k is equal to 12. First and last done. Okay value I have got from here is 10. So I will subtract 
and I will get a value 2 which means from this remaining permutation I have to somehow get the value of 2 now for 2 and 5 what will be the value if I swap both of them I will get 3 from here and 3 from here so 6 but k is 2 so I will not swap it I will keep it same now if I swap 3 and 4 I will get 2 and the value of k is more than equal to 2 so I will swap it and there I get my answer now what if my k value was 14 and not 12 that means after my first operation first of all this 3 and 3 makes it 6 so I cannot make an operation on the bounds of this subarray and my k remaining k is 6 ok and I need 6 left sorry my remaining k is 4 ok my remaining k is 4 and my remaining k is divisible by 4 then what I will do is I will keep this value same and continue my search on this subarray why is that because on sub arrays of size even I cannot get a double difference divisible by 4 I will always need an odd length sub array to make an divisible by 4 k value true so if I cannot swap 5 and 2 because the sum of this was coming as 6 and my remaining k is 4 which is divisible by 4 so I will keep 5 as it is and I will continue my search in this part now if I swap 4 and 2 what do I get I get 4 so I use it and then 3 as it is so over here I decrease my search bounds by 1 because the value of k I got was suitable for an odd length sub array now we will need to do the same thing for odd length in E1 ok ok so now I'll take an I'll take an odd length sub array let's keep it 1 2 3 4 5 and I will keep my k value as 10 ok now since in E1 we check for divisible by 4 here we will check not divisible by 4 that's the only difference ok now over here if I swap these two values I get value of 8 so I remove it and k becomes 2 because I made value of 8 over here ok now the value of this is 4 if I swap 4 and 2 but my remaining k is just 2 so I cannot swap it and k is not divisible by 4 so I keep my left bound I keep my right bound and continue my swapping in this array and then for k is equal to 2 I will swap 3 and 2 ok it is a bit lengthy but I will show you how to implement it ok first of all this is for e1 ok start 0 end n minus 1 min and max if my k is more than equal to my bounds which was swapping the first and last value I will swap the first and last value ok else I will check if k is divisible by 4 if it is I will keep my max value as it is at my right boundary and continue my search on my remaining boundary else I will remain it as min at the start max at the end and continuing my search for odd the only difference is over here it is k not divisible by 4 rest of the code is exactly same ok so thank you guys for watching make sure to like subscribe and share the video ok